Today we're coming to you to Cala de Forte Marina in Ventimiglia, just outside of Monaco, to show you what I would consider a remarkable achievement. The 2019 41 meter or 135 foot Porsche designed power catamaran, Royal Falcon 1. We're gonna begin our walkthrough today on board Royal Falcon 1 here on the aft deck. You can really notice the beam of the power catamaran right now, and some of the innovative designs are the pass rail that hides into the hull, as well as the tender garage. Your main access to the yacht is gonna be both on the port and starboard side hulls, where you're gonna have these beautiful teak steps that lead up onto the aft deck. Part of that spaceship design is that you've got this hidden tender garage that you can't even really notice here that houses this Castoli tender. Considering the length overall on Royal Falcon 1 is 135 feet, you get that 492 gross tons from her 12 and a half meter or 40 foot beam. The aft deck is one of the main gathering places on board and one of the main reasons why is you have this large built-in bench seat that runs all the way from the port to the starboard side and behind that is a large sun pad that's built into the superstructure that's essentially on top of the hidden tender garage. Continuing forward from the aft deck, you enter the salon through two sliding glass doors. Immediately entering the salon, you're taken back by the long central corridor that leads all the way from the aft deck towards the bow. All the way back aft is the main salon, and this is highlighted by three areas. To starboard, you have a full service bar, center line, a dining table that seats up to 12 guests, and to port, a built-in lounge area with multiple sitting areas. Continuing forward past the dinette, you have a staircase that leads to the upper deck and to port your entertainment system with built-in flat screen TV. Continuing forward down this corridor to port, you have access to your galley and from there you would head down below to your crew accommodations. Located directly off of the galley is what would be considered the crew mess. This is a great place for the crew to relax, have breakfast, have lunch, considering its close proximity to the galley. From here you enter the commercial grade galley. A few things you notice, the commercial appliances of course, a lot of natural light, and again, close proximity to the main dining area on board, assuring that silver service. From here, we take the staircase down into the main crew area. I actually found the crew accommodations to be much larger than I expected on a catamaran. I was blown away by the size, not only of the crew area, but also the machine spaces and the engine room. Now Royal Falcon 1 doesn't just look fast, she actually has extremely impressive performance numbers. She's powered by MTU 16V 4000 M93 engines, which are 4,615 horsepower each. These engines power MJP 850 water jets, which give her a top speed of 37 knots, which is absolutely insane. Pull her back to an economical speed, and she has a range of over 2,000 nautical miles. To go a little bit more into the construction of the vessel, that's what actually makes it even more impressive. Some of the industry leaders came together for this design. Porsche design is obviously the highlight and the most recognizable name, but she's also built to Lloyd's class. She's currently flagged in Cayman Islands, well-respected flag state. Naval architecture is by Incat Crowther, who is the world leader in high-speed performance catamarans, building some notable names such as Hodor, which happens to be the most recognizable catamaran in the world. Now that we're finished on the lower area with the engine room, let's jump back up to the main deck and check out some of the guest accommodations. Located directly in between the casino lounge forward and the main salon back aft are three of the five guest accommodations on board. These three guest accommodations are extremely similar. Each cabin has a very futuristic, very simple design to it from the wall features, the windows, the built-in berths, all the way into the en-suites which have a large use of glass and again, very simple stones and fabrics. Heading back into that LED corridor, we're gonna continue all the way forward into what I've been referring to as the casino lounge. The casino lounge is the forward-most area that makes up the main deck, and with what everybody would refer to a casino, one of the main places that you would wanna entertain when on board. The seating wraps around the forward end of this space and continues all the way to the starboard side. There's a TV on the aft bulkhead, you have large windows, and a bar that completes the port side. Now, like in the main salon, the bar found here in the casino lounge is not an afterthought. It's actually a highlight and a design feature that really makes the space stand out. Each bar 
It's highlighted by a display area in the back for your liquors. It has a full refrigeration, freezers, ice makers, sink, and of course, bar stools to complement the space. We're just coming up the central staircase to the bridge deck. It also leads you to the flybridge, but for now, we're gonna go check out the master suite behind me. Now the master cabin is actually a very unique layout here because it combines the master cabin with the sky lounge, making the space multi-purposed. Located to the port side, you have your sleeping accommodations, which consist of a king size bed and pop-up TV. To starboard, you have a built-in lounge space, which is very similar in design to that found in the casino lounge in the main salons below. Just forward of the master sleeping accommodations is the ensuite. The ensuite definitely has some highlight features that are worth pointing out. These features consist of the cork floor, the built-in jacuzzi tub, great large windows, glass enclosed rain shower. You can really see that Porsche design shine here in this space. Stepping out of this space to the bridge deck aft is one of the most impressive things about this yacht. This could be considered a private owner's deck or it could be a statement location when dining on board. You have this beautiful skylight above the dining area and to port and to starboard, built-in wraparound settees that complement the design found on the main deck back aft. This entire space is the epitome of what a Porsche design is to me. It's that futuristic concept come to life and Royal Falcon 1 stands out to me as one of their most iconic creations. Another cool little design feature to point out here are the side decks that move forward both to port and starboard, which offer you a private escape when you want to get away from the crowds. Leaving the master cabin, we're now going to check out the main VIP, which is also located on the upper level. This space is similar to the other guest accommodations with that futuristic styling to it, and of course, it's complemented by an ensuite. Forward on the upper deck is where we're gonna find the wheelhouse. The first thing I think you notice when entering into the wheelhouse is the actual size of it. So you can really appreciate the beam of Royal Falcon 1, which is 41 feet or 12 and a half meters. When the owner gave Porsche Design the instructions to build himself a spaceship on water, one of the main design features are gonna be these elongated bridge deck windows. Really kind of ties in with that futuristic feel that you have here in the wheelhouse. Highlight of the bridge deck are gonna be these seven flat paneled monitors, carbon fiber found throughout, beautiful captain's chairs, great visibility, just gives you a really easy vantage point when running the boat. Wrapping up the wheelhouse, that leaves us one more deck to cover and that's gonna be the sun deck. One of the highlights on the vessel to me is gonna be the centerline jacuzzi surrounded by sun pads, great place to chill, you have a bar in front of that. So really all the amenities you need here on the sun deck. Covering the bar area, you have four carbon fiber poles with this beautiful sunshade. Kind of makes it a little bit more inviting on a really hot day. The MTUs on board power MJP 850 water jets. And you're gonna have your main controls found both here at the upper helm and the main one down below. Similar to the lower helm, the highlight of this station are gonna be your three flat panel monitors and the rest of your controls are located within easy access of the captain's chair. Now you can just imagine blasting off at doing almost 37 knots from this vantage point. It's just gotta be a breathtaking experience. On behalf of Denison Yachting, I'm Alex Clark and thank you for joining me on board Royal Falcon 1. If you'd like additional information, please feel free to contact us at any time.